One stop services. <laughs> what's popping? What's popping? What's popping? How y'all doing? What's going on? Happy Kwanzaa to everybody, you know? Mm. Happy Kwanzaa to everybody. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you get it. You dear me? On which one I page? Straight Nation or yes, sir? Happy Kwanzaa to everybody. Um, of course, you know, my born dirty Christmas, you see me? Ashes for Santa, ashes for Jesus, you see me, you see? Mm -hmm. So big up everybody where, um, you know, know the truth and know, say, I let them take off with this whole Christmas thing, see? Me, that's one of the black person where now I go, follow up my foolishness, you see me? Once me find out I know if you are fuck, say illusion, done. Now nah, I'm gonna further with it. Can't okay, trick me. Me yeah, some people I say, oh I really believe in a Christmas, but no I foolishness, but me I do it for my kids them. So if you wanna drink poison, you gonna give a pick them poison? Wow. So you know there's something wrong and it's bad for you. But you are give it to your kids? So dumbest excuse me ever here it's like it's like the most stupid illiterate excuse me here don't get me wrong you know if you don't know you don't know but you can't say to me say you know and you're not celebrate christmas boy i do fear pity them so you are the present and the past you know your kids are the future. So if you, as the present, know say, this is an illusion, why would you put that illusion on your kid who is going to be the future? I don't get it. Some of us are smart enough, but we're very stupid. And numerous of other people in my ear. Oh, yeah, man, I know I say Christmas is foolish, this man. And an illusion, but me. I just have work with it for my kids, so you have to not pick me an idiot. I actually, I actually tell my kids I don't do Christmas and I tell them why. Me not going to get up and say me I do it because of my kids them. So you are lead your kids into a dark place. You are much up here pick the future. Because if you know, just... Because sometimes people don't understand unless you break it down for them. If you would not eat poison, how would you feed poison to your kids? Just picture say that here, you know. Just picture say you share a plate of poison, a gay pitney. Something that you would never eat, but you feed it to your pitney. And think you're the smart. <laughs> How can I say I'm not a part of something and I am against something but then I am going to encourage my kids to do it? Then you already destroy the future of the black race. Because you are the wreck. You are the navigator for your child. You know? And you are navigating your child into an elusive brainwash that has been holding black people hostage for centuries. And you actually know this and still I say, you yeah, do it for your kids? Wow. Shows how intelligent a lot of people are, you know? Show you how, how smart we are and how much we want to fit in with the slave master's plan. Because if you know, say, Christmas are foolishness, but you say, yeah, do it for your kids, and the people that make you do it. They don't care if you're in them future. 
We don't care about the people in the future. My people them can't ask me for no Christmas gift. Them know me not do that something. Like. Yeah. Christmas of a And some people say, oh, we not celebrate Christmas. But on the 25th, everybody a group up and a feast. You not celebrate Christmas, you know. But on the 25th, you sit down and you feast up, you buy the whole of the food and all family members come together and meet up and eat on the 25th. You don't know have to say you celebrate Christmas. You're in the act of celebrating it. You are part of the ritual. So you can say something out there about and then your actions are something different. Save the gathering for the 26th. When Kwanzaa start, if you don't celebrate Christmas, or save it for the 24th or summer, you cannot follow the protocol of the ritual and then you say an apartheid. Sounds stupid. No, nah, make no sense. Because the world don't understand the day, the timing, everything have to do with the feast, the festivities, all of that have to do with the ritual, you know. All of that have to do with the ritual. I don't know. Get up and say, oh, no, no, part of it, but on a feast, pan the 25th. Uno celebrate on the 25th. The family gathering is on the 25th. All of that. So you don't have to say it out of your mouth say Christmas. Say, so why don't you never come together as a family and eat food like September 10th or the 1st of September something, some other time? Why are that day you don't have to come together as a family and do this? You know part of the thing? You understand? So... But we just wise up as a nation and know say we have a Lego European philosophies and ideologies and them ritual, you see me? Why we can't study what we used to do before we were enslaved? When we were free people, what were we doing? Cause all of us do now. know. A prisoner behavior on a patron. You know. uh, while we in a slavery, all of them things are come about, you know. You understand, mother? Yeah, so we have to kind of think and say, what we used to do before the white man captured away and enforced these things up on us. What were we doing? A simple mathematics, you know. Just question it, no man. Question it and say, before white man give a Christmas and Jesus. What we done do? What was black people doing before that? How we used to celebrate before that? How we used to worship before that? Simple questions. And you realize, eh? All the way we are do. Only I help yourself stay poor, stay poverty, and stay under the separation. There is nothing that the white man implements that is to empower the black man to be better than the white man. Nothing. Nothing. So you would think, sir, the white man that gave a religion to make you escape from him? <laughs> yeah, that is true. Can't work. Um, that's another real reason why I'm a come live still, you know. I got reason for the real reason why I'm a come live today. My spirit and my soul kind of feel empty. Um, there is something missing. Now, if if if, if there's a real lover of dance Dancehall culture, Jamaica culture, dancehall entertainment. You got understand what I say, and you got you got feel the way all me feel. Me feel empty. Me feel like when me lose somebody close to me. That's how me feel today. When me sit down and me look. I'm a realize uh, 
dance hall has been set up to be diminished and destroyed gradually over time. As a true lover of the culture, I may see it from we out and know it has got into effect and we see the destructive evidence say, them a mash up the answer. To realize say, there is no sting. I don't think people understand the negative effect where not having sting have upon the music and the culture. Them set up the music, you know. All right, all right. Some people are know indirect connection. Is that thing will take more than one year, more than two years, more than three years, but the results are in. We lose one of the major, 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 major ingredient in the expansion of the culture, which is thing. When I wake up yesterday and realize uh, December 26, I realize how empty and void the Jamaican space is on the world scale. We now have no attraction on the world scale in that segment here where we were most dominant in. Them erase that in. Crippling sting has wounded the Jamaican economy. It has wounded the entertainment sector. It has wounded the tourism sector. It has wounded the financial income with the season, one of the main seasons existing in the world. It has taken away from the delivery of the message of the number one culture, which is Jamaica. Now, I don't know if everybody share the same views as me. Cause me have a long term vision. Big up a journey, bad artist. People do things and me I gotta talk something I know and it's gonna create more enemy for me. Reason why it's gonna create more enemies is because people are going to not want to face the reality for no set <coughs> at the truth for that talk. They are going to put ego in it and say, Futa chat too much. And then, they are going to pine for me as the bad person because the person they are going to talk about now have more money than me. Because this is how it boils down to you know. You cannot speak truth anymore or reality anymore about somebody if them have more money than you. Once you start talking about them, the audience tends to pay attention to the money where the other person have and don't look for the reality of what you speak. Now, I go um, speak and I go speak openly with no hate in my heart, with no envy, no grudge, no nothing. 
But I'm going to say collectively Zin Joseph Bogdanovich and Isaiah Ling separately destroys thing and has damaged something very important towards the Jamaican culture and it hurts me to know that today we don't have a sting you know why sting is like the training camp for the Jamaican Navy SEALs sting is like the preparation and the graduation to send we entertain as them out in the world to defend and deliver the culture to the rest of the world. See? Um, where me blame Mr. Leng now as the boss and the owner of Sting? Um, Remember, Sting I keep before me exists as a star. And the one complaint we always hear is that Leng not pay the man them, them right amount of money with them forget. And in bad them. See? So, I guess for me, put blame on Leng now because that kind of left a bad vibe with the artist them towards Sting. I remember at one point when we are help work with Sting, you have a couple of artists where if I never me and chew a money, them would have never do Sting. And I never just the money because them and they take oath to them now nah, the Sting as long as them live. Zin, me, Convince them for this thing and then Joe pay the money for this thing. So, me beat Leng this up in terms of this trying relationship with the artist, them till the artist them don't want this thing. See, what me have to get Leng preps for is for the amount of years. When him carry that show there from till that show they become one of the biggest show on earth some people don't really understand you know? some people think Sting are just Jam World and Portmore Sting spill over in the whole entire world see him? Sting spill over in the entire world meaning all places when I speak English nobody's thing and nobody clash them and nobody everything alright I think I'm just like a thought now on the business huh? I think Joseph Bogdanovich deliberately destroys things Purposely. I think him do that because the Jamaican influence is too great. I think based on what me analyze and what me see, your input within the music is more destructive than productive. Zin? And this is just my honest opinion. Joe have so much money that whenever Joe touch something, any farmer music production 
anything. Him carry it to a level where it becomes dependent on him. See? And when it becomes dependent on him, him take away himself from it and watch it suffer and dry up and dead. So, when you look upon it from the excitement and everything, and say, okay, Joe is such a great help. He's not a help, you know. He's actually taking you to a point where he's the only oxygen and then him lock off the oxygen tank and he's stifled and dead. That is what happened to Sting. No. Joe no longer kill Sting. Him kill an important part of our culture. Him kill him left one big void, one big, big void in the Jamaican culture. Him put a noose round sting neck and dry till it pop. See? So, enough people I go say, yeah, actually what I'm with you and them, me and them work after that. Do some fest and all these things. But me just have to talk the truth. Joe cripple a lot of things by investing in it and make it too big and then walk left it. When he walk left it, it's impossible to bring it, impossible to bring it back. Because whosoever pick it up don't have the financial backing to carry it back to the level where it did. Joe by Dave Kelly studio. No more it no come out of it from that. Dave not really find no more it from that. You understand? When him buy it, I was the it factory. You understand? When I hear my better now. When I hear my better now. When I hear my better now. People. You see me? These are you that can just talk based on how I see it. See? I can just keep it as real as possible. Joseph Bogdanovich killed Sting and killed a major part of our culture and suffocate the culture slowly but surely. Piece by piece. See? I'm not bash me there, I bash Joe. I'm not bash Joe Bogdanovich. I am just saying. His style and his strategy for destroy the music is blinded by the so called investment. It's not investment, it's actually poisoning the product. You understand what I'm saying? Remember, you know, Sting are going for 20 odd years or almost 30 years, right? Never stop it yet. Never impossible to keep it. From Joe fully take it over and carry it. I want to hide. Yo, all right. We're going we're to we're be respectfully honest. You see the level where Joe carries Sting in terms of production and artists and money spender it almost impossible for sting keep without Joe and what him do him walk left it it will come like come like break down things in a street man terms it's like a man who that have him catty and him and him catty war them still love each other everything and a man now by corner watching. Him not like the girl, you know. But him eat the nigga. So what him do now? Come in and promise the girl everything and oh him hurt you. You can leave him and put her up and everything. Rent place, put her gear, car, everything. And as soon as she submit to him and give him the front, 
And him can style the next man, him drop she too. Because he never want her from man. Him. So it's like that with, with thing now. It's a bat up and catch thing. Joe have him ego. Want to show him want to take over control of everything where standard in a Jamaica. And him go so bum and him text thing. And him carry it to the roof. Because the best production me see with thing when him have it. Backdrop, lighting, stage, sound. You have two chain, you have white cliff, you have him go hard. When him go so hard, when him knows that when him walk with it, it are going to mash up the music. And it mash up the music. It's like you locked down a school where if you teach the pity them to go to the next stage. You destroy that. So Joe is not really build thing. Joe come destroy thing. And him over some fest I take time simply do it the same thing. What may I say now is make a reason people. The amount of money where Joe Bagdanovich have. Why not a way? Superstar them are nobody was saying to Joe. Never make it big yet. Why nobody was signed to Joe ever make it big? Why nobody in our industry when him say my work with him I'll put music on the map and never ever make it big? Why? If him so love the music and so care about the music and so want the music for go up on top. Oh Oh, nobody. Jody of Jamaica nearly 20 a year now. Not one somebody make it big. Is he really helping? Is it really a helping hand? Is he really building the music or depleting the music? Which one? That's why we look into things, you know. Remember, money is not the problem. Because he have money. He's got the bread. The bread is not the problem. But it has never happened for anybody. Toddler, Fantan, Nanko. Ah, you can name it. Specialist, Aishana, RDX, them in the round there. Luki D, them in the round there. We can go countless amount of artists. So, are you helping or are you destroy? Because me not get it, me not understand. Here, city, I used to be around here. Right? We work, we work 